Hi friends! So I asked on my Instagram stories and feed if you wanted to hear about kind of yearly planning or weekly planning because I really wanted to talk about time management. That seems to be a question that I get a lot about, uh, especially since I do everything part-time. So most people wanted to hear about my weekly planning, so I figured I would go into that with you today. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I prioritize my projects and my time and giving tips for how to make the most out of your time. And at the end, I will also have a download that you can check out and use to print to kind of help you during your week. So be sure to watch to the end and let's get started. Okay, so when I added enamel pins to my shop, I was just coming back from maternity leave. I had a six month old that I was taking care of at the time. So I had about 10 hours tops to work on my business just at all, like max. Sometimes it was five hours. It just really depended on his naps, when he slept, how much sleep I had gotten and all that. So you might be a parent, <laughs> you might have a full-time job, you might go to school full-time. So these tips that I'm giving you are all about prioritizing and maximizing that time. So the first thing I do is prioritize my projects. So I pick my project priorities based on what brings in the most money versus the least amount of time I have to invest in it. So for me, that's enamel pins. They are my bread and butter. The, a lot of people want to diversify and I absolutely think you should, but when it comes down to it for me, if I have a very limited amount of time, I'm gonna spend that time on my pins because that is what pays my bills. <laughs> Another big project I have is Instagram and social media. Uh, I put YouTube in there because YouTube is very important to me and I love being able to disseminate information, but Instagram is where I get most of my customers. It's my main marketing platform. So I spend time on there and I don't feel bad about it because that is what gets me a lot <laughs> of attention, eyeballs, and ultimately sales. So I'm going to spend my time there for sure. And at the moment, I also have my e-course that I'm working on, Enamel Pins 101, and I'm getting ready to open the doors for that again, so there's a lot of preparation that I'm going through with that. So that is kind of next on my list. It's not my main source of income right now, so it's not up at the top with Enamel Pins, but it's also something very important that I'm working on on the side, and you'll see where I incorporate that in a minute. And the last thing that I kind of work on is any kind of events. I already have the stock. I already have displays. I'm getting ready for one in May. I'm going to do pop cats in Austin in May. And then I'm doing a fundraiser for Austin Pets Alive uh, Bottle Baby Kittens. Oh, it's my favorite event of the year. But um, I already have everything I need for those. The only thing I need to do is when those events are getting closer is to promote them. So that's kind of on the back burner at the moment. So those are my big main projects. So I want to show you how I break down my time. So I like to look at the month as a whole when I start. And um, when I see that, I'll see the big dates that I want to do. Um, I'll have my Instagram plan. I'll have any YouTube stuff. Um, I'll have any launch information for uh, pin launches, for pin club launches, anything like that. I'll be able to see that at a higher level, and then I can plan out my weeks. So let me show you what I've got going on for this week in particular. So, ba bum I have a whiteboard <laughs> that I use to put all of my weekly stuff. I have... This is Instagram, basically. These are my big five, the things that I want to talk about on Instagram. And this is what I've got going on this week. So April 15th through the 19th, I only do Monday through Friday because weekends are my own. Um, and I have my Instagram schedule, not crossed off, and it's Wednesday. It's fine. <laughs> I have um, cat pins and earrings for pop cats. I had to reorder some stuff. And cat cards for pop cats. <laughs> I wanted to get that done, just send in a few more. Uh, pins 101 launch for, and I've got uh, YouTube videos 
website build out and emails. So I have already for this month sent out my pin club stuff and I don't have a new pin launch going on right now. So then I moved down next to the list, which is Instagram and then my events and stuff. So these are the things that I want to get done this week. These are non-negotiables. Like, I, I base my to-do list each day on these things, so if, you know, I haven't gotten my Instagram schedule done yet, and that's fine, because I just have to get it done by the end of the week. I'm not going to beat myself up if it's Monday and I haven't gotten everything on this list done. I think that was the biggest thing for me with a mindset shift, was I'm very to-do list centric, and if I didn't get things done exactly when I said, I would just throw the whole thing out and then <laughs> not get anything done. So I give myself a lot of grace and um, with my weekly goals. And I think that's the biggest tip that I have <laughs> uh, besides batching, but I'll get into that. But yeah, as long as anything isn't time sensitive, I, I don't worry about not getting it done on the day that I write it down. So I have my whiteboard next to me and then I just have my to-do list. I've been trying to incorporate Asana for larger projects. I really like that software. Um, I'll put a link down below so you can check it out. And um, and to a couple of videos that I found that have helped with workflow for me. But I do that for larger things like planning out my YouTube content and making sure I can check off everything I need to do for that and, and stuff like that. But right now, honestly, it's just a whiteboard and a piece of paper. So as long as I have my weekly goals next to me that I can refer to, especially if I'm going off on a tangent, because I will get every idea <laughs> and if I don't put that idea out on paper then and away from me then I will spend an exorbitant amount of time on it and then I've just got to snap myself out look at my list look at my to do's and go no girl you need to settle down these are your priorities <laughs> so my biggest number one tip of all tips is to batch everything batching it's just everything to me. It is how I get anything done. It's everything and anything. So let's say you have five hours to work in a week. You have one hour a day for the weekdays. So say on that Monday, say I am going to take 21 photos. 21 photos doesn't seem like that much when you think about it. And I'm going to take those 21 photos on my phone. I'm going to edit them in batches using a color story and then I am going to pop them into Planoly <laughs> and and schedule them out and then have them be done and that's three weeks worth of Instagram posts that you've done so that one hour will save you so much time over the next three weeks and you can just have that sitting and running in the background and then you can spend the other four hours designing pins or getting ready for a YouTube video or whatever it is for you just doing administrative stuff I love taking one task completing it and then moving on to the next thing that works so much better for just my own <laughs> mental health because in the beginning I was doing things piecemeal so I would make a pin and order it and be done and then I would take a photo each day for Instagram and it took so much more time and so much more energy than designing a whole bunch of pins at once and then having a collection, you know, or uh, taking these photos all together and then having them done. It seems like it's taking a long time at first, but once you get that done, then it's done and you don't have to think about Instagram posts again for three weeks. It's amazing. <laughs> so whatever it is that you're doing, I highly recommend batching. And I mentioned before to give yourself some grace. This is why I love my method of using a weekly to-do with an overall monthly because your to-do lists are not set in stone each day. 
as long as you have those larger goals that you're working towards, those things that you know that are going to further your business, like designing that new pin collection or um, writing an email to your list, things like that, as long as you have those things at a higher level, your to-dos will be a lot more flexible during the week and you won't have that kind of pressure, you know. <laughs> My cats are everywhere. Not right sprinkles. So definitely give yourself some grace when you are setting your to-dos for, um, for anything in your business. And while you give yourself grace during the day and during the week, um, stay disciplined though. Like when you set hard goals for yourself, keep them because you have to keep yourself accountable to move your business forward, especially with pins, because you have set deadlines that you have to meet. If you know you want to launch on a certain day, you have to order your pins by a certain day. You know what I mean? And you have to have those things ready. And it only does yourself, you only do yourself a disservice if you don't hold yourself accountable for those things. So a healthy bit of pressure is good, the day-to-day, -day, don't bog yourself down, but when you have those weekly goals and you have those hard deadlines, keep them for yourself because that is what's really going to propel you and what's going to keep you one step ahead of kind of the other business owners that really don't take it as seriously, you know, because you're a hard worker, but I don't want you to subscribe to the hustle culture. I'm not all about that. So you want to make the most of your time and and that time is sacred, so you want it to count, and you want to hold yourself accountable um, for the goals that you set for yourself. Okay, so that was it. I think the idea of prioritizing your projects based on kind of return on investment with your money and your time is very important. Uh, be sure you enjoy doing that thing, but I think when you're picking things to do, definitely choose the things and prioritize the things that you know will bring in the revenue that you need to keep funneling into your business and growing it. And also the idea of having the kind of top-down, monthly vision, weekly goals, daily to-do lists is a good way to hold yourself accountable and kind of keep the keep everything going. You're prioritizing the necessary things in your business for growth instead of just kind of floundering and um, spinning your wheels on stuff that doesn't work. So check down below. I have a freebie that mimics my whiteboard, my favorite thing. And I've also got a little daily to-do list for you too that you can download below. And be sure to like and subscribe if you are into videos like this. I love making pins. I love being a business owner. I love doing it part-time and getting full-time money for it. And yeah, be sure to check me out on uh, thepinksamurai.com if you want to see the actual pins that I make <laughs> and um, enamelpins.com has more information on the e-course that I'll be opening the doors for later which you can tell is <laughs> on my to-do list so yeah I hope you enjoyed the video grab your download like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye